And here we go. Gonna do this in one fail swoop. No, no takes. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to an update video. This is mainly being recorded for Callie, so she will get on my server. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go around and kind of do a tour. I can't remember the last thing I posted on the channel. It's been a while, but. Um, yeah, we're just gonna go around and show off everything we got here um, Starting with my house. It's a, it's a warehouse, and we have an iron golem upstairs His name is Hank like the security guard from the office. I need to sleep uh, I had a bigger bed But the other two beds are at the Guardian farm which we're working on so this is my warehouse. It's very nice. Upstairs we have my bed, which is usually bigger. Hank. He likes to hang out up here. Got a couch and a TV. This is supposed to be a sunset. Sun setting on a field. Looks great. And some lamps. Looks good. Hank just sits up here. That's supposed to be like a cable, like the TV's plugged in. Then we have all my furnaces, a loom. Uh, grindstone, stone cutter, water source, everything you need down here. Brewing stands, crafting tables, enchantment table, anvils, and 40 double chests of storage. All neatly, so perfectly sorted. Oh, it's great. It's great. This is what the outside of the warehouse looks like. I know I just ran out here a minute ago. But it, yeah, it's pretty big. Made out of basically solid concrete. It looks great. Also... Also, this uh, shader pack I'm using is, I'll show you, video settings, shaders, Silder's Enhanced Default Shaders, and we're obviously playing on the newest version of Minecraft Java for Realms, because they require that. This is our mob farm. It is 20 levels tall, and if we go up to the top real quick using my Elytra, Oh god, oh god. We can see a giant shadow. See like there's the base and it just goes woo all the way out into unloaded chunks. And then there's my farm. This I built this whole farm. It is three plots potatoes, three plots wheat, and three plots carrots. All with these little cute little lamps in the middle. It's great. And wrapped it's double wrapped in sugar cane so phew, plenty of that this is Austin's house um, he put flowers on the outside and stuff his house is a little bit nicer than mine because I just live in a warehouse but uh, he's got some storage this, he, he keeps his shulker boxes here I don't know how many double chests he has not as many as me and he changed this since the last time I've been on so that looks good with the Anvil's in the middle like that for his enchantment table. He doesn't have a back door. He does have some tree farms though. And over here he's got some more storage. And his furnaces. And he's got a fish tank. A walk-in fish tank. How many houses have a walk-in fish tank? I don't know. And his stone cutter and stuff. And then he has a basement. Oh wait, wait, wait. Maybe we should go upstairs first. His upstairs isn't finished. It's just all empty with his bed. And the second le level view of his fi he He likes fish a lot for some reason. Okay, let's go to his basement. I don't think he's been working on this because he's... I thought he was going to fill that all that in with in brick. And he's, he's building like this kind of fake mine thing in here that looks really cool. If it was lit up properly. He's got like this little elevator thing on, on like this crane. And it's supposed to be carrying up ores. It looks really cool. And then there's a ravine down here that he's got to figure out what to do with. So that's his basement. Then if we go back upstairs. Um, I showed you my farm. Oh, he built an ice farm right over here. And you need ice for, well, I guess you can play, like, for the mob farm. Instead of taking a bunch of buckets of water up there, you can just bring ice and then break that. 
and get source blocks of water. So that's a nice farm. Oh, and then he has a uh, actu uh, like a normal people farm that grows vegetables and such. Uh, wheat and potatoes, and his is automatic. So if I flip this lever, it'll activate the redstone, or deactivate the redstone, releasing these pistons, and a bunch of water will flow through the middle. And it'll all get harvested, and then you have to replant it. So we don't have any completely automatic farms. His is semi-automatic, mine's just completely manual. But you can make an automatic farm using a villager. Um, I think that's basically everything in the overworld that's important. I think I think that's about it. Oh, except for, I guess you wouldn't know this, but we started out in a ravine, and uh, it kind of just lets out right up here. So you go down here, and then we built this. So this, like, pulls you down like a elevator, and then the other one pushes you up. So, yeah, this is our ravine. We lit it up with lava everywhere. It's actually a double ravine. And this was my old house made out of solid obsidian. Which is now spawning mobs upstairs. We have the ender dragon egg down here. Because we defeated the ender dragon. And some other random stuff. Um, and then this is our nether portal. I, I designed this because it looks all cool. Like the nether is coming into the overworld. Ow. It hurts you a little bit though. Now. To... A person who doesn't play that much Minecraft you may not know you can build tunnels in the nether two locations and get there faster so if you put ice and you have a boat and you get in the boat you go ultra fast um let's go to the Guardian farm first so this is definitely the nether but we're just gonna go sonic speeds all the way to the Guardian farm in these tunnels that we built it's great and it took absolutely forever to get this much stone brick and glass. The ice was the easiest part, oddly enough. And then behind each portal, I have a block representing what's on the other side. So if we can stop. Oh my god! I don't even know how to get back up there at this point. We just fell through the floor. What What am I supposed to do about that? Uh, this is unedited, one take, so. Just just wait, just wait. Okay, good. He, he was digging out this whole room to get nether rack, so. Okay, nope. Where'd my boat go? I went through the portal. So on this portal we have Prismarine to represent the guardian farm. I designed this by the way Where's my boat what? Where did my boat go? Okay, anyways, this is our guardian farm. We have to drop mass amounts of sand uh, In a box and then we divided it up into sections and then we drain each section or channel or whatever you want to call it We have one two three four five more to go this last one is done and then that'll stop the guardians from spawning and then okay okay wait 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 wait. where's the entrance to the guardian farm is it this one so once we drain all the water the guardians will stop spawning and we've completely hollowed out the guardian temple inside or the ocean monument Austin did that and lit it up and stuff so um, so we'll put in like a little tank of water in the back and then we'll have a funneling system so all all the guardians will be funneled into one spot and we'll kill them like that. Or probably just have them auto killed with lava or something because we don't actually need XP, we just need the prismarine. <gasps> Which reminds me. Okay, okay, okay. We got to go back home for one second. The reason we need a guardian farm is the guardians drop shards and crystals that you can use to make sea lanterns, which I need for my basement, which is unfinished. I have an unfinished basement. Sounds like a typical homeowner's problem. Yeah, we're selling the house. It's got an unfinished basement, but you could do whatever you want with it. That's me. So if we go back home for just one second, one quick, measly, stop, 
Stop. Okay, the only problem with the boats is it's really hard to get them to stop. When you don't actually have a, a stop mechanism. I don't know where the boat went. I put dirt on this portal to represent it's going back home. Oh, there it is. Okay. Real quick. Real quick. And then we're going to go to the end, and then I'm going to end the video. This is already 10 minutes. Oh, my gosh. This is just supposed to be a quick one. Up, elevator, go! Okay. So. Um, my basement. I bet everyone was screaming at me like, You didn't show the downstairs. It's just solid, smooth stone blocks. And then what I'm going to do, these are actually the lights that are in the floor upstairs. So look right there. And then boom, there's the light. Um, I'm going to do at the dirt level. This is why I haven't replaced the dirt. It's going to be solid sea lanterns. The entire ceiling all the way across. And then one level down right here at this block, which will actually be visible, is going to be glass. So it's only going to be three blocks tall down here. And I'm, I'm not going to put anything in here. In the middle of the room, I'm going to do a bunch of redstone things in the walls. That'll, like, separate the wall, and then it'll be, like, furnaces or secret chests or things that pop up from the floor, like armor stands or stuff. Oh, and this is supposed to be a garage. So, like, you know, you get deliveries at a warehouse, so the truck backs up there, and then you can lift the garage up, and that's, like, the garage thingy. The garage, don't question me. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's my basement. It's gonna be cool. It's the reason I did solid stone, uh, smooth stone blocks was because I wanted it to look like the Bat Cave in the Dark Knight. Yeah, the movie The Dark Knight, which was the second one of the Christian Bale trilogy. And if you see me looking over here constantly, it's because second monitor and I have like a preview window of what you're seeing. Okay, now we're gonna go, so that was a guardian farm. This way to the end. And, okay. Ugh. Stop, stop. I'm holding back S as hard as I can and it just won't stop. Here we go. Boat, no, 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 go. Oh, and then all these chests just have more boats in them. This portal has in stone to represent you're going to the end. Thank you, boat. So here we are at the stronghold. The end portal's right here. Jump on in. Now, up here on the main island, we have a failed sugarcane farm that uh, doesn't actually do anything. Well, I guess it does do stuff technically. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, Enderman. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to look at you. I guess it technically does stuff just really slowly and inefficiently. See how there's sugar cane sitting up here? My manual farm is much better than Austin's automatic one. See, 32, and I have like a whole double chest of sugar cane back home. Okay, so this is the end. Right, right, right. Um, if we ever respawn the dragon, that's going to get destroyed. And I'm kind of looking forward to it. So, we have this... This oh, this path of leaves, which looks like a wavy bridge because of the freaking shaders, all the way to. Uh, I'm gonna need to turn in my volume, or you're gonna be like, why did I go there? Uh, hostile creatures. Okay. It looks like you could fall off really easily, but it's just you have to think it's not actually waving. It's just one straight block. So here's our Enderman farm. You may have noticed I have 61 levels and I have nothing to do with said 61 levels because we just come here and farm experience. So 61. Okay, so say I had zero levels, I would be gaining XP so quickly right now. I'd probably already be up to 10 levels. And then like watch. See how many <laughs> Ender Pearls I just got? Like I don't want that many Ender Pearls. It's kind of insane. And then down here we have even more. So pff, um, these are all the books we've enchanted here. And these are, oh, I guess Austin did come and get these mending books. Okay. You're welcome. He didn't replace the anvil he broke. 
Um, yeah. Anyways, that's our Enderman farm. Um, uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that you need to see. I guess not. So, yeah. I'm going to end the video here. It's, it's been an update video. It's 15 minutes long. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. You're welcome, Callie, because I know you wanted an update video, even though you didn't ask for one, but I could, I could see it. I could tell. And you should get on the server as soon as I buy you Minecraft. Okay, that's it. I'm going to jump through the portal, and then I'm going to end it. I'm not going to edit this video, so this is just going to be really weird. <gasps> Goodbye. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't stop watching. Don't stop watching. I'm sorry. I just peeked the microphone. Um, you should, everyone who watches this should totally go follow me on my Twitch account, Cosmopalooza, and follow me, please. I need follows. Okay, bye.